Welcome to another entertainment segment of Impact. I am your host, uh, filmmaker John Russell Crane, and uh, we have a very, very special guest on the show uh, today, a, a true talent, uh, a unique voice in the world of independent film and cinema. Uh, the guest for on the show today is me. Uh, I am uh, going to be being interviewed. What is that about? What is that about? Is this the height of conceit or what? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you know what we need to do? We need to not get, let's get rid of guests mm -hmm. and let's just interview hosts. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it works. We're so much better than that. And my okay? special host today is my boss, Miss Holda Thompson. Though she has other names oh my on God. Facebook, there's another <laughs> name. There is no Holda on Facebook, but we won't even talk about that. <laughs> Why is there no Holda on Facebook? There are Holdas on, on Facebook. It's just that they're not me. That's not you. Okay. Well, <laughs> there yes. is. There is. And we are here to talk about a very important film, Little by P. Little by P. Okay. Yes. And a lot of people are going, what is that all about? Okay. We will tell you what that is all about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like the way you're asking and answering your own questions. I should try that. I should. Yes, we will tell you what that is all about. John okay. and I, okay? Yes. All little, right. Little by Peep is mm -hmm. an LGBT feature yes. that uh, my friend and uh, the very, very talented Anna Shields wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, she was in my film, uh, Creeping Crawling, which yes. was an anthology horror film, and she was the star of one of the stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave me a call and... Uh, she was like, John, I've got this idea for a movie. And I read it and I was like, that's terrible. <laughs> Don't make that movie. It was just, it was just not her. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, write a movie about you. Yes. Write a movie about your horrible, horrible relationships. The terrible, terrible time you have with love. Mm -hmm. I want to watch that movie and laugh. Yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so Anna was like, oh, was, I guess she felt inspired by it. Mm -hmm. Three days later, oh my gosh. she sent me a draft wow. and Tracy and I were like, that is a movie we want to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you started the process. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's a film about, uh, I guess, semi autobiographical about this, uh, bisexual woman's, you know, sort of search for love her, you know, the, the idea uh, that really came through what Anna told me was that relationships, you know, for her age group, you know, mm -hmm. being 22 years In old, the 20 something, yeah. they don't end with sex. They mm -hmm. begin with sex. Mm -hmm. I mean, that you're hooking up, liter sex. you know, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the term hooking up means. Exactly. You know, people, when they, ask, when they say, what's hooking up mean? <laughs> now you know. Okay, so mom, dad, if exactly. they, oh, we're going to go hook up. No. Worry. Mm -hmm. Worry about that. Yeah. But when when uh, you've already had that experience with somebody, then it's like, well, the next time you see them, are you in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Are we boyfriend? Are we girlfriend? Yes. What exactly does that mean? What is the confusion of that? Mm -hmm. And uh, Emma, who is uh, the character that Anna plays, mm -hmm. sort of is this habitual liar. She has this very, very dead-end job that she works at a porn, right? She works mm -hmm. at a porn shop. Yes. Uh, that she absolutely hates, and everybody who works there hates it. And it's kind of all about her nightlife, her day life, and her work life, and how they all sort of intermingle. I think that's wonderful. I saw the trailer, which I think we should let our audience see now. Okay. Ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Whoever I want, and I try not to hurt people's feelings. Because you have probably one of the shittiest, most pathetic lives I've ever seen. Bitch! Yeah! I don't want to leave. I'm not being weird, you just don't know me. What is wrong with you? I try not to murder people. You tried setting him on fire, Emma. 
once. what I love about any kind of film even though it may may be for a specific audience right. anybody can watch a film and get something out of it well you, you, you see know what I'm saying? I think that I, I think that's the point of art is yeah. that you're supposed to show mm -hmm. the world the way it is or the way that you would like it to be and and this particular movie uh, is probably one of the uh, most romantic films I've ever done wow there is there is a a really sweet romance at the center of this mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. and you know, me and sweetness, I don't know if they go so well together, but Anna wrote it. Yes, yes. And uh, I think that, you know, people understand, you know, the idea of, uh, you know, not necessarily having the same idea of relationship that somebody else has. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot in this movie that is reminiscent of films like Juno yes. or Young Adult or mm -hmm. that type of thing. Mm -hmm that uh, you know people are going to be able to relate to yeah i think it's it's, it's open to everybody mm -hmm. we want everybody to come right and you know drag your friends who say oh you know it's lgbt i don't want to be drag them anyway yeah bring well, them in i you know one one of the things that mm -hmm. anna really wanted to uh, be, make clear about this movie is mm -hmm. that it's not a movie that is totally uh, about being, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, mm -hmm. transgender. Mm -hmm. That is just an element of the and film. And it's part of her truth. Right, yes. right, exactly. You know, we, you know, sometimes you, you uh, for some of the different uh, lesbian or uh, gay mm -hmm. film festivals, mm -hmm. you know, you see films and it's just literally that's what it's about. Exactly. It's about the experience mm -hmm. of being, you know, in that, you know, life or in the, being that minority. Yes. And this film is more in the vein of like a romantic comedy Wonderful. where and I I think that one of the things Anna does so brilliantly mm -hmm. is that you know she is able to just incorporate the sexuality part into the film without it dominating the film. Wonderful. Wonderful. You know, which I think she is she is a brilliant brilliant writer. Mm -hmm. She has already uh, written another script that we're interested in uh, working on together. And uh, she's got so many amazing things she coming up. She's got, well. she just did an Ari Gold film, which mm -hmm. if you look him up, he was, Hello. he's an amazing, uh, amazing director, mm -hmm. you know, had films at Sundance and yes. things like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and Anna, you know, she's doing the New York stuff, like celebrity ghost stories and mm -hmm. everything. So mm -hmm. she's kind of up and coming she on is, her way. She is, yeah. She is. And mm -hmm. there are a lot of other really, really interesting, uh, capital region people involved in this film, like at uh, Lee Strimbeck. Exactly. She is uh, artist in residence mm -hmm. at uh, Russell Sage college. Uh -huh. She is Anna's mother Ooh. and she, uh, her character is constantly exasperated <laughs> totally like frustrated <laughs> totally frustrated with her daughters mm -hmm. too much drinking and too much smoking and too much doing the other thing doing yes, the nasty exactly. hooking up mm -hmm. uh so there's that and then uh david baker who is also uh, anna got a lot of the people involved at russell sage mm -hmm. that because she went there yes yes so she has a lot of her uh you know, friends and actresses and some really, really great people. Mm -hmm. And uh, she also has another actress, a friend of hers who, from the city, Olivia Mogul, is uh, absolutely fabulous in the movie. So, And the one person that we forgot to mention is our own Kevin Craig. Kevin who's Craig, in what, who is a very, he plays a very <laughs> special character. Yes, he does. A very, 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 special. very special crack you a up special, on special. the floor <laughs> character. That's all I can say. Kevin was so great because he came, I, I told him what I was looking for, uh -huh. you know, as a director. But yeah. he had this very specific and odd idea of how he wanted to interpret it. Yeah. And I just, man, sometimes with when you're a director, it just means getting out of the freaking way. True. You know, and mm -hmm. with Kevin, you know, his take on this character, I just got, all right, babe, let's go. I love this. Let's go. I let's let's run with it. this. Let's <laughs> run with the bull, the bulls in Pamplona, man. I was ready. <laughs> I was ready for that. And I love that because, mm -hmm. you know, when you were directing a film, it's kind of like you're all things yes. to all people. And at times, you know, mm -hmm. you have to be the psychologist That's and true. the babysitter. And that mm -hmm. sometimes you, you're just the audience. That is true. And you just sit back and you watch. And Kevin just, 
I was the audience for that. All right, now we got the, the most important thing is Please. when is this film going to be? Prepared? Is that really the most important? That is the thing? most important. There are children yes. starving in Africa right now. At, at there this are moment, people at this moment, who are who are on impact are not free. Uh, this is the most important information. Well, okay. <laughs> In this space right here, exactly. it is more important. It is not important than those poor African dying children or the, the Chinese, that. all right? But, uh, yes, August the 7th, yes. it's going to be at uh, the Madison Theater. Mm -hmm. We have a great partnership with uh, the Madison. They've shown several of my premieres. Yes, they They've have. been great. Yes. And uh, we may be going to two showings because we've already pretty much, uh, it seems like... Uh, there is a lot of people who are going to be coming to the happy, first screening. Happy, yes. So we might end up doing a second screening that night, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. then but August, you want to get into the first one. Right. You want to get into the first one. And then August 18th, mm -hmm. um, Don Rittner, great friend of mine, is doing his Inspiration Week mm -hmm. uh, production where he's doing a fashion show and he's doing an art show. Yes. And he's doing so. And he's doing uh, acting classes. There mm -hmm. are so many great things well he wants to show. Yes. And one of those is this uh, film festival mm -hmm. called Inspiration Week which is going to be showing uh, other productions like uh, Justice in Mind and uh, Pulse from the 1980s. Uh, the director, Paul Golding, is going to be there, who, if you've never seen Paul, Paul is a trip. <laughs> He's like, was friends with George Lucas, and he has great, great stories, and he may or may not be drunk. Okay. I'm not sure, okay. but that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, and my film is My Little Dog and Pony Show is going to be part of that with... Yes. Uh, going to be playing at 3.30, uh, mm -hmm. and then we're going to be doing a premiere at Rocks, which is the, one of the locations wonderful, on Central Avenue, wonderful, the wonderful. Uh, gay nightclub that is it's a great, great place, mm -hmm. and we had such mm -hmm. a, an amazing time shooting there. So yeah, there are three opportunities to see the film, this August 7th, August 18th, and August 23rd, and yes. so check out Facebook, mm -hmm. and um, you'll find out. You, if you don't see Little by Peep, it's because you didn't want to. It's not because I didn't give you an opportunity. Exactly. Because I'm giving you an opportunity That's to correct. see this thing. That's okay, correct. three times. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I think it's wonderful, and I am so appreciative of this opportunity to sit in the big <laughs> chair today. Sitting in the big and... You can't have it back. <laughs> Hold on. That's my chair. Okay? This is my segment. You've got your own segment. You're out there on the street. You're, inter do. you're interviewing lepers or something. I don't know what you're yes, doing. There's, yes, a lot of, yes. there's a lot of medical stuff and, you know, things are going on things over there. But no. Yes. But no. Okay. That's it's mine. I am, I am Mr. Entertainment. Okay. Yes, you are. I'm show business yes, crank. you are. Okay. So and don't... Actually, get out of the chair okay, right now. Okay, okay, get out of the okay. Chair. okay. Get out Get out of the chair. I mean it. Get out of the chair. I mean it. Get out. Thank you. This is done. We're done with this. All right. Oh, my God. All right. I'm this John Russell Crane. <laughs> this is my show. This is my segment. Thank you, Holda. Thank you, John. For doing this this one time. But I just want to make this clear. I host this show. Yes. Yes, Thank you, you. Do. Yes, All right. You do. <laughs> Check out Little By Peep on Facebook. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Proctors, bringing the best in arts, education, and entertainment.